Good morning. Um, today I'm going to talk about Peter Morin. He's called the co-founder of the Catholic Worker Movement. And a fascinating fellow. Um, he's born uh, in uh, May 9th, uh, 1877. So I guess that's why today he's listed as uh, one of the main saints of the day. Uh, and this, he was born in the ancient Languedoc region of southern France. And he was the 23, he was one of 23 children uh, to a peasant family. Uh, and they, in that area, they could boast um, the family land back for like 1,500 years. Uh, so they had their establishment. He himself ended up going to America. And in America, he, uh, he went there in 1909. He uh, was educated by the Christian brothers, and they had a tremendous effect on him. So when he came to America, he worked uh, basically hard labor jobs, um, but really embraced, uh, almost like a Saint, like St. Saint Francis of Assisi, he embraced the concept of poverty. He uh, gave away a lot, most of his money. He, the only thing he spent on was books, which he was fairly well read. Uh, but he ro roamed the country, uh, breaking rocks, uh, digging roads. Uh, well, he was, but his true work was an effort to devise how to synthesize Catholic social philosophy. Um, he thought the main problem uh, with society was that economics, politics, had all been separated out from the gospel. That we, when we're making these choices, we're not looking at the readings and the teachings of Jesus. And so in that way, we've got, we've got a major disconnect that he could see. And um, he thought that in the Gospels, is just dynamite. He thought it could just blow off the everything. And he thought the church, in a lot of ways, and the priests that were preaching, kind of hid what that real core truth was. The fact that, holy cow, we could be a whole different society. And he kind of looked at this as a personalist revolution. In other words, he didn't look at changing institutions, but changing ourselves so that we lived in such a way that it, everything got better. Um, he was uh, known for writing what he called easy essays, or later they called it easy essays. He gave short little things that he could scream out on the, on the street corner and people would listen to. Uh, so example, here's one of them. He says, the world would become better off if people tried to become better, and people would become better if they stopped trying to become better off. <laughs> That's kind of hard to follow, but I'll say it one more time. The world would be better off if people tried to become better, and people would become better if they stopped trying to become better off. Isn't that fascinating? It sounds like a paradox, and yet it makes the most sense. If we could just open our hearts and make today better. Um, but as he did preach on street corners and such like that, uh, he had a French accent, he had shabby appearance, and he had this visionary gleam, like maybe he wasn't all okay. And so he didn't make a lot of progress. Uh, he didn't make a lot at all. But then um, it changed. He uh, was introduced uh, in 1932 to Dorothy Day. And she was just a young journalist, but she is known for being quite a radical and, and, and with a tremendous amount of energy. So we all have heard of Dorothy Day and the great Catholic worker movement. But she got her ideas from Peter Morin. He is the one that put her on track. He had a three-part program. He, what he wanted to do is start a newspaper for the clarification of thought, organizing houses of hospitality for the practice of work of mercy. It's not like that's going to save the world. It's just that we would get a chance to practice works of mercy, um, such as feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, exactly as it said by Jesus. And the organization of farming communities that in the first step toward a decentralized communitarian economy, the kind of society where it would be easier to be good. Um, his big thing um, is the fact that he didn't like concentrations of wealth. He saw that as problematic. He didn't push um, communism or any type of political agenda, but more thought that we should just practice ourselves what it is that makes things good. Um, with Dorothy Day and this Catholic worker movement and getting the word out. So they started distributing in uh, May 1st, 1933. They started in New York handing out this Catholic worker movement paper. And that spread and it's had tremendous influence. Even beyond those who read the, read the paper or subscribed, 
it just got the word out of what we are supposed to be doing. And the word out is nothing different than what Jesus taught. But if you take it seriously, it's radical. According, according to um, our man here, uh, Peter Morin, he would say it's dynamite. Um, so they got this going. They got houses of hospitality going. They got some farm communities going in more urban areas, uh, rural areas, excuse me. Um, but he didn't get to enjoy it long. So it started really big in 33, really took off. But by um, uh, he will die uh, like five years later. Um, but what happens is he ends up having a stroke. And so he becomes unable, unable to speak. They're not sure he was even able to think clearly. Um, but Dorothy Day thought that it just, that his manner of death was instructive. Um, he had been a poor man all his days, but he stripped himself of everything else. And in these last days, he stripped himself of even dignity of himself. Um, some years uh, while he had had his issues and hadn't really wasn't doing real well, um, he went away for a while. He just disappeared, and they were all concerned. And finally, he came back. He'd, he'd gone on a, a ride on the bus and was gone for days. So after that, they put a note and they pinned it on his suit, and it said, "I am Peter Morin, founder of the Catholic Worker Movement." There are people that move us in our lives, move us to just do the regular things uh, that the way of Jesus is a way that's hit several people along the way. And I, th I think of Francis of Assisi as one of those. He wasn't an organized fellow. And like that, with Peter Morin, he wasn't able to do everything that he had come to understand would be a better way for all people. But he said that in his quote, which is really good, he says, if the future will be different, the future will be different, if we make the present different, for us personally, in how we act, if the future, if we want the future to be different, we, all we have to do is to make the present difference. Have a good day.